All right, before we start this video, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had this problem when you're trying to finish a high resolution file in Procreate, whether that's something for yourself or for a potential client even, and you're just faced with the challenge that you just run out of layers in Procreate? So when that happens, basically you can't try that new idea or further adding highlights to your character or even try to change the color palette of your illustration without losing the existing one that you already have. So basically when that happens, you're forced to either downgrade or downscale your file so that you have less pixels and therefore you're going to have a little bit more layers or you're going to be forced to collapse or merge layers so that you lose on, you know, the ability to further edit something because you're going to merge a lot of these layers together so that you get some new free ones. So today I'm going to show you how I can circumvent, what are some of the ways that we can circumvent this problem, and I'll even throw a Photoshop comparison as well in this video. My name is Leo and you're watching Ghost Paper, so now let's get to it. So starting with Photoshop first, I am going to be using this example on both Photoshop and Procreate for this video. This is, by the way, a 4K illustration, so a square of 4096 by 4096 pixels at, at 300 dpi. And this is pretty much the amount of layers that almost or pretty much maxes out my Procreate file. So I believe here I have about 26 layers with a total of 28 layers on a 4K file for a second generation iPad Pro 12.9 uh, inches. So it's amazing to see that in Photoshop, I can actually group all of those layers into a single group and I've called it artwork option one. And then I can still duplicate that same group and name it option two and option three, so on and so forth, and keep exploring color options, creating more layers, deleting layers here, exploring as free as I want to until I find the, the option that I actually want to go with. So in terms of layer management, here in Photoshop, what I usually do whenever I'm creating work for myself or for clients, I do name my layers. I try to keep them as organized as possible. I could even color label them uh, by just right clicking and finding the color that I want to. But basically I do try to keep them organized into groups and Photoshop allows me to actually duplicate this as many times as I want while I am exploring and I only need to work with one file. Of course, once I am happy with the choice that I want to go forward, especially if I'm doing this as some freelance work, I don't want to be delivering or confusing the client with other options. So I just delete the other, you know, explorations, save a clean file, a new version with just the option that should be going. And even if this is final artwork, I usually flat it, uh, flatten all of the layers. So there, there is no confusion or even a chance that the client may actually uh, turn off layers by mistake. So that's what I usually do. I also may send a work, working file if that is also requested in, uh, in the bid or in the proposal. And I send a file like this as well, separate uh, as a separate file in case uh, the client actually uh, needs the file to be an editable file. So in the example of Photoshop, the key or the message here that I want to convey is that Photoshop allows me to actually make copies into a single file and keep working and keep exploring. That is unfortunately not the case in Procreate. So now let's just see what some of the ways, what are some of the ways that we can do to circumvent this limitation. All right, now here in Procreate, let me show you with my latest illustration, which is this one at the very top here of the screen. What are some of the ways that I've used to circumvent this problem in this limitation? So in this file right here, I'm just going to open the first one and we're just going to go into the canvas, into the actions menu, canvas, and then canvas information so that I can show you the resolution of this file and the maximum amount of layers. So this is a 4K file, 4K square, so 4096 by 4096 pixels. And that gives me in Procreate on an iPad Pro 12.9 inches, it gives me 28 layers maximum, which in this case, I've used about seven layers. So in this very first file, it's my sketch file. I'll call it the sketch file. So I'm not really worried here about layer management because I'm really just sketching and getting the outline of my illustration. So now, similar to what I was just showing you earlier in Photoshop, uh, instead of using groups, we're going to be using files in Procreate. So what I do is that I go back here into the gallery, 
and I click on or tap into select and I select that file and I hit duplicate and by doing that it's almost if you if you imagine that every file here is a group where I'm either going to go to the next level or you know advance into my illustration or make any changes make any option twos or option threes try new things so I try to actually uh, duplicate files so that I have more layers on the go and I still save uh, whatever work that I had I have a backup of that so if I'm doing something for a client it's once again non-destructive work because I have my previous state saved as a separate file so now going on to the second file which I'll just open right here this file right here is the file where I've actually first I've uh, taken all of those sketches and I've merged them into one layer so with that I've actually saved quite a bit of layers but I'll show you just one thing so let me just turn on everything once again we're gonna go into the actions menu and then canvas information once again it is the same resolution file and when I tap on two layers I still have the same amount of maximum layers and in fact I only have two layers free so here's really the limitation say that I want to actually change the color of the hair of this character but I want to keep this color of this hair it becomes harder and harder if I want to keep doing changes or try new things because I really only have two free layers and that is because I've actually already merged a few things which I was not supposed to if I really want to break down into colors and have the colors free so I can do color dragging for example keep dropping colors here so I can try new things I've already merged actually the little ghost paper logo onto this kind of a circle so it's really it's already not ideal and another thing that you need to actually consider is that even any clipping mask layers or layer mask layers they also count into the layer limit so every layer here really really counts so it's really really important to save your work make copies so that you can further um, you know work with the limitation of the layer management so in this file here as I was just saying I create my color option one which in fact this is actually the final color but I'll, I'll show you an example on another file right here so once I'm actually happy with this first color option as you can see I've named all of my layers try to keep things organized I didn't really make any groups here but I've you know kept things very very organized so instead of actually making any changes to this file I consider this file done as my option one it still is at the resolution that I want to so I want to achieve this 4k resolution so now back into gallery I once again will would uh, hit select select this file and make a duplicate but I, but I already have that duplicate right here so another thing that I actually advise you to do is for you to actually start naming these uh, these canvases here this these files and that's because Procreate has a tendency to actually name everything with entitled artwork until you actually give it a name so right here on this first file we're going to call it artwork option one and then I'm going to tap on this one and we're going to call it artwork oops just did caps here artwork option two and now we're going to go on to option two and let's just say that for this option I don't want to have these like shadows the, those projected shadows that were hitting the character and the background and as for the hair I just want to do a quick color dragging here and throw some pink kind of radish color onto this character and I'm going to hit gallery so now I, now I got my two options into different files and I can scrub I can slide through them I can see a very big preview and it can start to decide which way I actually want to go with so continuing with the lesson uh, now that I have these two ways right here I still have that problem that I only have two free layers even though I just made copies of that file so this is what I do once again I'm saving the previous state so in this state in either this file or this file I have all the layers from my character in the illustration so what I do I make another copy and in this one I've actually grouped the whole character in the, the, all the layers from the character into a group so now I'm going to tap onto this group and select flatten so now by doing so I, you know is I'm basically saying that I'm actually happy with the state the colors the shading and the volume of this character and now we can go back into the actions menu 
going to canvas information and now looking at my layers i have 24 layers available which is not you know the best best case scenario but you know it would be great to have 100 layers even but i have about 24 layers at 4k resolution for me to keep trying ideas onto this version with this color hair with this color jacket so now i can further you know put more highlights onto this character try different backgrounds and all sorts of things so once again, this is uh, the one of the most organized ways you can go about creating artwork that needs to be high resolution in a non-destructive way. So that's something really important for you to know. I've even made another example here where I did actually a bit of a gradient on the background. And I believe this is the one that I've actually posted on my social media, but I've still capped all the other ideas as separate layers. Now, the very last option that you may have if you actually don't want to be making these copies and you do want to actually keep working on one single file is not the best way, which is one that I've actually mentioned at the beginning of this video. But by selecting Canvas, once again, you could go or you could actually clip, click on Crop and Resize. And if you select Resample Canvas, now let's just say that we want to do half resolution on this file. So that would be, I believe, uh, 2048, 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels. And if I hit done, it resizes my whole canvas, my whole illustration. And now if I go into the actions menu, canvas information, and I go into layers, now I have 98 layers available, only uh, used 26. So before I, ha I had a total of 28, only two uh, free layers. And now I have 98 layers available. So by reducing my file by half, I actually did get quite a few layers. But the down, you know, the, the, the bad thing about that is that you actually, now you only have a 2K resolution file. And if the client, if this is a freelance work for someone, or if you need to print this onto like a bigger kind of um, output, you, you will have to actually draw this again, or the illustration will look very pixelated on the output, on the final print quality. So I hope that kind of summarizes some of the challenges that you have here on Procreate. And that is until Procreate can actually, you know, Procreate will keep evolving and they'll access the memory of the, you know, more iPads are coming out with more RAM and Procreate will be able to, uh, you know, advance with that technology and be able to uh, hopefully access more of that RAM and give us more layers on each file. And you also have the option to actually back up your files. So the thing about creating all these multiple copies, of course, you're using the storage of your iPad. So I'm going to show you, uh, there's actually two options. You can go with something super, super cheap, uh, pretty much like a pen drive that has a USB-C in the case of the iPad Pro, has a USB-C com uh, compatibility, a port that you can hook up this pen drive and you can start unloading some of these illustrations onto that pen drive or you can go with something way more professional, such as the Samsung T5 portable SSD drive, which comes in one terabyte or two terabytes. And I'm going to leave both links in the description box of this video so you guys can check it out. And after you hook up one of these devices, all they have to do, you just click on all the illustrations that you actually want to send to, and you're just going to click share, procreate, and Procreate will do its thing. These are very high, uh, high quality files, so it will take a little bit of time. And you're going to save to a certain location, either on your iPad or on this device that I was just telling you about, this portable device that can save files. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos. And that is all to make you the most pro when it comes to digital illustration. Now, there's more content about Procreate and some other things all around digital illustration on the right side of this screen. Make sure to click on it and continue learning more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.